character pushing or pulling the intro text cliche. That black circle reveal stays too long. It would make more sense if he were being spied on from a distance or something. Why are you taking off your glasses right as you're about to make your exchange with the other spy? Isn't that, like, the one time you should definitely have them on? Also, Modern Warfare 2 text? If he is supposed to be a highly trained spy, why within the first 30 seconds of the video has he already almost bumped into a tree and got hit by a car? Analyzing? What's analyzing? Oh, I guess it's just the intro. Baljar Hen? Waltar Mebu? Walkir Ona? IK snapping. Where'd he get that bagel? Why is he doing his top secret spy work in public? This creepy guy stalking Walter in the background. Why would it not fetch the bagel crumb? What is this pigeon wanting? If it's the entire bagel, this is misleading and unrealistic. What are the pigeon's intentions? Is it trying to kill the clumsy spy? It is unclear at this point. Why would the pigeon even try to land on the briefcase? That wouldn't get it to the bagel. Why is he holding his head? He didn't even get hit in the head. Why is this briefcase on the left of the bench? That's not where it fell. There's no way that pigeon would fit so well in there. This briefcase must have grown because clearly there was not this much room in the previous shot. There was no food in the briefcase, only metal buttons. Why would the pigeon be remotely curious enough to peck at anything within the briefcase? Wait, I thought the pigeon was close to the joystick. That's why it moved it with its leg, but now it's far away from it? Consistency, please. Why wouldn't the bird just fly out while the briefcase opens up and jumps? I mean, if physics worked in this video, the bird would have been thrown out by the momentum. The briefcase is unlocked too, keep in mind. Don't just stand there, grab the briefcase! I know the bird is spamming that fire button, but what's causing the turret to move around? Again, why would the pigeon have this motivation if it just wanted the bagel? How does he even know how to control this thing? Bird can sure multitask, steering, aiming, and firing all at the same time. Why is the pigeon terrorizing all these people if his only motivation is to get the bagel? Those fire effects. Why would the briefcase zero in on this bagel and identify it as the correct target? It's not like it's programmed to lock onto bagels. If this briefcase opens and closes mechanically by some control on the inside like shown here, then how come it closed on the bird in the first place? That missile is so small it shouldn't even be possible. Missile impossible? Why didn't Walter just grab the suitcase before the bagel could fall and hit the button? He just hit the bird and sat there waiting for something to happen. The way Walter threw the bagel shouldn't have made it fly forward. 
should have landed on the car in the back. He didn't even throw the bagel. By the looks of it, anyone who was up in the tower was sent off with the missile. That's gotta be one of the most obvious PNG backgrounds I've seen. Also, the set is geographically incorrect, as the only view of the monument with the Capitol building in the background is from the Lincoln Memorial. Am I nitpicking? Yes, I am. <laughs> you think hitting the escape key on the keyboard is just gonna delete the missile launch? I would remove a sin for how funny this is, but I've got a sin it for this guy's stupidity. What is he still doing here? Just standing around, waiting until something like this happens? Even still, why does he just disappear after the scene for the rest of the video? A bit of a rocky transition. It would have been more clear if he pressed the button or something before cutting to this. There's no way this tiny suitcase is going faster than a nuclear missile, especially while carrying an extra 167 pounds of Walter. And I thought the suitcase was crazy. You're telling me that a pigeon can fly faster than a nuclear missile? Oh, just kill the pigeon already. Just punch it or something. Those things are fragile. Rockets do not begin to break apart that low to the ground. There's probably another thousand feet to go. That definitely killed some people. Also, not only was a bridge full of commuters killed, but if not, all the museums in the National Mall would have been wiped out by the impact, considering how the missile is going straight up and how the National Mall is right next to the monument. How exactly do you run out of lasers? There's no possible way that briefcase fits three missiles and a laser gun. Is this the modern version of Mary Poppins' magic bag? I can make a dirty joke out of this, but I'm not. That rocket would have made a much bigger explosion. That would have barely exploded a building in Moscow. It would have been an inconvenience rather than an attack. What? He acts like he's accomplished something. All he did was launch a rocket and blow it up. That would have made a bigger mess. Sin off for killing that darn pigeon. In conclusion, this was an entertaining video, especially for its age. It's almost 10 years old, so props for that. I don't know if it's good enough for its own movie, which Sony has bought the rights for, being a 2019 motion picture called Spies in Disguise. Regardless, it was a clever short video, and the main weak part was the physics and the pigeon's overall motivation. Sure they are, but it's uh... No, 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 no. It's the FNG, sir. What the hell kind of name is Soap?